Hello everyone. I am Professor Anis Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about different types of filter circuits and need of the filter circuit. So first let us understand the need of the filter circuit. Normally we use filter circuit with the rectifier. Output of rectifier is not pure or smooth DC but it is a pulsating in nature and the meaning is there are certain AC components might present at the output of the rectifier in addition to DC component. So we use the filter circuits to remove AC components from the output of the rectifier and to get smooth or very close to smooth DC output. Now let us see the waveform of the full wave rectifier. We know that uh, during positive as well as during negative half cycle, conduction of the diode take place and we get pulsating type of output waveform. But it is a unidirectional type and that is why we call it DC output. If we see the actual waveform, it will be like this. But again, it contains certain AC component which must be removed before the application of this DC voltage to any of the device. So we use a filter circuits, different types of filter circuits and we get very near to smooth DC and that depends on the type and value of the filter circuits we use. So after application of filter circuit, almost smooth DC output waveform might be possible or very close to smooth DC might be possible. We can have a different waveforms after application of filter circuit. Now let us see how the formation of filter circuit is possible. We use a capacitor or inductor or combination of capacitor and inductor to form a filter circuit and we have different types of filter circuit. Shunt capacitor filter, series inductor filter, chalk input LC filter, capacitor input LC filter and Pi filter. Pi filter name is given because after the combination of LC the shape is like a Pi. In same way chalk input or capacitor input LC filter are known as a T filter because of the shape. Now let us study each type of filter one by one. First let us see the shunt capacitor filter. We have full wave rectifier and across the load we connect one capacitor. We use a capacitor comparatively of very high value and we know that the capacitive reactance that is Xc is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc. C is a capacitance of the capacitor we have used. Because we have selected a very high value of capacitor, the reactance is inversely proportional to frequency as well as capacitance. And that is why the value of reactance is less. Capacitor reactance offers 
low reactance to the AC component because we know that uh, capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency as well as capacitance. So AC component is grounded through the capacitor because it is connected across the load resistance instead of passing through the load resistance they are bypassed through the capacitor to the ground so by application of a parallel capacitor across the load resistance we are generating a bypass circuit for the ac component by offering very low reactance to the AC component. DC component has zero frequency. So capacitive reactance for DC component is infinite because frequency and reactance both are inversely proportional. If frequency is zero, the reactance is infinite for the DC component. So DC component cannot bypass through the capacitor to the ground and that is why DC component always pass through the load resistance. So this is how a simplest shunt capacitor filter work with the rectifier circuit and we got pure or smooth DC component at the load resistance. Now let us study another different type of filter and that is a series inductor filter. Again we have rectifier, full wave rectifier circuit and in series with the load resistance we connect one inductor and that is why the name is given as a series inductor filter. We connect one inductor in series with the load resistance. So this inductor work as a filter circuit. Now again inductive reactance that is given by XL is equal to 2 pi FL. In case of inductive reactance the value of reactance is directly proportional to the frequency as well as the amount of inductance L. Inductive reactance offer a very high reactance to AC component because as we discussed earlier the value of inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency as well as inductance. So AC component are not allowed to pass to the load resistance through the inductor or inductor will block the AC component to passing to the load resistance. So AC component cannot pass through the inductor and DC component has a zero frequency so DC component can easily pass through the inductor to the load. So ultimately at the load side in the load resistance we do not have any AC component after application of filter. We only have a DC component so we get smooth or very near to smooth DC output waveform. In this type of uh, filter circuit some voltage might drop across the inductor and that is why the value of output voltage might reduce to certain amount. Our next type of filter that is a chalk input LC filter. Now here we use a combination of L and C and that is why it is known as a LC filter or it is a T filter. We use a chalk or inductor 
first and then we use a capacitor in the circuit that is why it is known as a chalk input lc filter so first we use one inductor in series with the load resistance and we connect one capacitor across the load resistance and now this is formation of lc filter inductive reactance offer very high reactance to the ac component so ac components are blocked through the inductor only dc component pass and they go to the load resistance so ac component cannot pass through the inductor so at the first stage ac components are blocked some ac component which manage to pass through the inductor are again bypassed to the ground through the capacitor so here we have two stage in first stage inductors are blocking the ac component but even if some ac components are passing through the inductor then they are bypassed with the help of capacitor so ultimately at the load resistance we are getting pure dc component same way we have capacitor input lc filter this is also one type of lc filter but capacitor is used first in the circuit and that is why the name is given capacitor input lc filter so we use one inductor in series with the load resistance and we use one capacitor across the load resistance the function of the capacitor input lc circuit is similar to the chalk input lc filter in the first stage ac components are bypassed through the capacitor to the ground so only dc component is allowed to pass through the inductor and to the load but if some of the ac components which are having a low frequency if they manage to pass the capacitor diversion then inductor will block those ac components and only pure dc components are allowed to pass to the load resistance and the last that is a pi filter here we use c l c so instead of lc here we have two capacitor and one inductor so we use one inductor in series with the load resistance we use a one capacitor at the first stage that is c1 and we use another capacitor that is c2 at the second stage so it is known as a clc type of filter or because of its shape it is known as a pi filter so in pi filter also the application of capacitor and inductor is similar at the first stage we have used capacitor c1 so all the high frequency ac components majority of the ac components are bypassed through the capacitor c1 to the ground and only dc component travel to the next stage but in case if some of the ac component manage to pass the first capacitor c1 then inductor will block some of the ac component it will not allow ac component to pass through the inductor only dc component will pass to the next stage but again still if some of the low frequency ac component manage to cross the inductor 
then we have set another capacitor and that is a C2. Some low frequency AC component are bypassed through the capacitor C2 to the ground. So only DC component travel to the load resistance. So here we have two stage filtration of AC component. So almost pure DC is available at the load resistance. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.